Welcome back to another episode. Thanks for joining us. Let's go see what we get up to. We're an Australian family that set off on an adventure of a lifetime. We hope these little videos make you smile and inspire you to chase your dreams. Subscribe to join us and our travels as we share our life on the sea. We currently have our home hauled out of the water in Porto Penasco, also known as Rocky Point. We have been mostly focused on boat projects as we get our Pearson 530 ready to sail the world. But today I thought I'd share some of the other things that we get up to while we've been here. All right, first stop is the toilet because when you're in the hard sand, you can't use your toilets, which is a pain in the ass. So you've got to walk or ride. You've got a sexy chauffeur to take you to the toilet. Usually we go to the other ones. So I'll show you, this is uh, the cruiser's lounge and shower and loo. You guys are lucky enough to get to come with me. Hello. Okay, so this is the cruiser lounge and this is where everybody signs their boat. We haven't put our name on here because you usually do it just before you leave and you know, we haven't left yet so. There's a lot of boats up here, I think some of them you might recognise. They're sailing with six. Beautiful family from Australia, we love following them. Hopefully. Our boat will be on there soon and we'll be out of here. Having a beach to swim at close by has kept us somewhat sane. It's only a few minutes by bike and we come down pretty much every day. Now, if you're on your way to the beach and you forget everything, they have everything right here. It's also pretty entertaining on the weekends or holidays and there's plenty of music and food. You can also get a massage. Like comes to life about a month ago, there was no one and now it's just alive. Hola. Hello. No gracias. The guy asked me if I wanted to go and eat banana. You should be entertained with your own band, go on jet skis or ride an inflatable banana. And there's also plenty of things to buy from souvenirs to hats to beach balls, get your hair braided or even a tattoo. Playa Bonita has it all. But for us, a nice stroll and a swim is what lures us here. Here is some more of what's nearby. Plenty of tacos. And Taj and Lee's favourite place? No, not Mama Sita's, the barbecue house. And next door, they have pickleball. There was a skate park pretty close to the boat yard, but one day we went and it had been removed. But we found another one. This one we have to drive to, but it's fun when we get there. For those of you who have been wondering, yes, Taish still has mad skills and apart from Boatworks has been very busy creating incredible art inspired by our travels for brands and clients. 
If you want to see more of Taj's work or want a custom piece of your own, you can check out his website, artoftaj.com. It's Reef's first She's real thirsty. She's had a lot of uh, water. Look at her, she's a boat cat. Reef? We haven't decided on Reef yet. Moratai. Just keep the water going to her, she's liking that. Moratai. I think her name's Moratai. Or his name. I don't mind Moratai, that's a good one. Moratai. Yeah. Eyes. I think one eye's a bit bong. Yeah. Yeah. Some more water? After a night of food and some love, this little guy was a happy little chappy. Okay, we've just bought our little mate. Hasn't got a name yet. Or a home. <laughs> or a home, maybe. We're just bringing he or she to the vet and hopefully we're gonna find out if it's a boy or a girl and if it's okay and healthy. It's come to life, like we fed it. I was up at every three hours last night feeding it. <laughs> And it ate so much, and it's like a different cat than yesterday. So sound like the kids when they were young. <laughs> yeah, I wasn't prepared for that. Hopefully, it's now eating out of its little bowl by itself. So maybe tonight might not be so bad. But anyway, maybe it's the first feed that it had in a long time. Yeah, it was so hungry. Went chill. All right, we're gonna take it in and see what the vet says. All right, let's go, little mate. In now, Home Depot bucket. <laughs> you ready? Let's go see how you are. So we just found out that this is a little boy. Pretty good health and they just said to watch him and bring him back in about 10 days and he can get his first shots. But he seemed to think he was all right. Yeah. So that's good. Hey mate, you're all good. Now we got to decide whether or not we're going to keep you. <laughs> we'll feed him up first. So we'll, we'll get him healthy. Just a lucky, lucky Mexican cat. <laughs> I think maybe we can call you a burrito. Just interrupting this video to share some more about Mudwater. For those of you who don't know, Mudwater is a coffee alternative that gives you energy and focus without the jitters and without the codependency. It is a really yummy drink that has lots of health benefits as well. It's a healthy way to start your day that leaves you feeling energized, focused and ready for the rest of your day, no matter what you've got in store. And you can get a discount if you use the link or the code Catalpa Mud. So go give it a try. Don't take my word for it. It's really, really good. And it's really good for you. All right, let's get back to the video. So Ed has just arrived with some of our packages. A lot of the remaining packages. And guess what's in here? Our credit card and our buttons. How are you guys holding up in this weather? It's getting good warm. Aircon. Good We've never had new lines, this is so exciting. Thanks, Ed. Thank you. You're <laughs> All right, back to work. Or oh, back to getting distracted by this little guy. He's getting more and more playful. Finally got our batons touched. Mm -hmm. We got putting the batons on. These are the things that we were waiting on. This is why we didn't leave. And it's probably a good thing we didn't leave because we've got a few more things for the boat. So. Now we have a cat and ropes. Now we have a cat. We got we ropes, a, a radar, and everything else. And an AIS. And AIS. So. All right, it's the last part of the afternoon, but we have got our battens, and we're going to quickly pull this mainsail out and slide our battens in. And then it's just a matter of fine tuning after that, which is just going to take a little bit of time. But we've chosen now because this is the coolest part of the day. It's been really hot lately and there's not a breath of wind. So it's perfect timing now. Dinner's downstairs ready. We're starving, but we've just got to do this and then we'll get to it.
After putting in the first batten, we realised they were too long, and as it was getting dark, we decided to put the sail away and deal with the adjusting of their battens tomorrow. We're going to definitely need electric wind from last time. Oh, you going? Finally they arrived. They were sent uh, down to us and they were returned to sender from Lukeville at the border there. They wouldn't receive the packages because apparently they were damaged. Um, then they got sent back up to the northwest. Then they've been sent back down. Finally we have them. Alright uh, guys, pretty simple process. They're all at like an inch or so long. They've just overspecked them so we can cut them to fit. Um, I'll just wrap a little bit of masking tape around them. Put my mark on where I want it and then I'll uh, use a hacksaw, cut through. Uh, I'll use the tape so it doesn't splinter the glass and then I've just got the sander and I'll just tidy the ends up, make sure there's no sharp points so they sit in the pocket nicely. We're ready for a trial run with our new precision main. I'm pretty excited to do that. It fills in and out really well now. We've put a new boom vang on, uh, new sail. We've also got new running rigging. So really it should be working pretty sweet now, so I'm actually pretty excited to get out there and um, give it a go. So we did have a lot of troubles with our main sails. Um, Precision's helped us there with setting up a new main. Hopefully it all goes well. Otherwise we're going to throw that furling boom in the bin and get ourselves a standard boom. We'll give it a try first. It can't be any more set up with a new main sail, new boom bang, new running rigging. If we can't make it work now, we're never going to make it work. Just cutting the battens, um, working my way along, sort of keeping them reasonably snug in there. Uh, should, there we go, slip in, get that fast bit there. Go, two battens to go. Alright. And just like that, the battens we'd been waiting for were fitted and the mainsail was furled away. Ready to test out when we get back in the water. Thanks for watching another episode. Make sure to like, subscribe and give a comment down below. We'll see you next week.